I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today we're reading from the book of Joshua, chapter 13, so let's focus on verses 1 and 2. Joshua was now old, advanced in years, and the Lord said to him, You have become old and advanced in years. By the way, my wife says that to me all the time. (laughs) But a great deal of the land remains to be possessed. This is the land that remains. And then he goes on to talk about it. So in chapters 13 and 14, the Lord quickly turned Israel's focus from past victories to unconquered land. The first thing that the Lord does is strengthen Israel's leader, Joshua. You know, aging warriors, and I'm not getting any younger myself, are more pitied than remembered. And at a point where Joshua may have felt unable to fight, God declares him able. Personally, I love how God begins with acknowledging Joshua's obvious physical limitations. Hey, let's give it to you. You're old and you're advanced in years. And I've heard it said that you're only as young as you feel. And God was letting Joshua know that he was aware of his advanced years. But more important than Joshua's age was God's promise of victory. So don't stop. Those were the words of my college cross-country coach, Jay Flanagan. Don't stop. See, I had been resting an injury for about a week. I hadn't even worked out with the team. And when it came time for our meet at Murray State University, my coach said, you know what, just go ahead and suit up, you know, not really expecting a lot out of you. I know you're injured. And because I didn't really feel able to run, my coach just convinced me, you don't have to run the whole six mile race, just run the first mile. I said, okay, I can do that. At the end of two miles, I was in first place. And so my coach yelled out, don't stop. And I thought, okay, well, then I'll just run one more mile and I'll quit. He says, I'll see you at the next mile marker. And so I yelled out, I'm hurting. And he responded, you're winning (laughs) for the next four miles. Coach Flanagan and I had the same discussion at every mile marker. And I wanted to quit at the end of every mile. And the coach kept saying, you can't quit while you're in first place. (laughs) And so that day, not only did I win the race at Murray State, but I set a course record on that old golf course. Perhaps you're tired of running the race of faith. And maybe you feel like you're too old or maybe you're too young to rise to whatever occasion the Lord is calling to you. Well, keep running. Keep on believing, because it's the only way to win. God will go before us when we invest our faith in action. And we have faith because we have a promise. And we gain understanding of His promise when we commit to study His Word, because all of His promises are written down. Then, when we pray, How shall I employ your Word in my life? Then through the Holy Spirit, He gives us a plan. And His plan guarantees success in whatever He has called us to do because He will go before us and accomplish it. You see, true success is not a matter of age or lack thereof. Success in God's eyes is when His people move out in faith. They trust Him. God provides the calling and He provides the equipping. But we must respond in the obedience before He provides any of the success. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. You know, Groundworks Ministries exists because of donations from people like you. And if you're not donating to Groundworks Ministries, would you consider doing so today? You can check us out at groundworksministries.com.